Halloween costume video. So I'm doing four super fun and easy DIY Halloween costumes. I'm so excited for this video. But before I say anything else, a little kind of disclaimer thing going on. I am fully aware of how short two of the skirts were. I already spent quite a lot of money on all the stuff for the DIY and I didn't want to have to go out and buy a new red tutu and cheerleader skirt. So I went to my dressing up box from like when I was like three years old and I'm not under exaggerating or over exaggerating, whatever one it is. Literally they're like size three year old um, and I didn't want to spend any more money so I was like I was really uncomfortable and again I wanted to save money and it worked out in the end okay on my social media my Instagram what are the things I was over for the there. My Instagram is lovevx and so is my Twitter. I'm so close to 10,000 followers. It's crazy. Um, and what else? Thumbs up the video. Can we get this video to 800 likes? That would be pretty awesome. So yeah, pause the video right now, click the thumbs up button, and also subscribe if you want to be an EV nator because our fam is pretty cool. Let's get on with the video! So the first costume I'm going to be showing you is Minnie Mouse and I honestly love this costume so much. So you basically need any black clothing with a red skirt and white shoes and then of course mini ears. So for the red skirt I'm going to basically make a stencil out of, it doesn't really matter what colour card to be honest, and just want to use a compass to make a perfect circle and then cut that out. <laughs> I'm then going to trace those circles onto this white fabric that has a peel-off adhesive, I think it's called, don't take my word for it, um, like peel-off sticky back, so they're really easy to stick on the tutu. I'm then cutting them out and make sure to get your parents to help you if you want to do this part and peeling them off, which is the super cool part, and sticking it on my red tutu. <laughs> I'm then grabbing my shoes and kind of outlining them onto a yellow version of that white fabric and drawing out where the tips of my shoes go. I'm then just going to cut that out and stick it on my shoes. So the next costume is this High School Musical cheerleader, so you're going to need some pom-pom things, I don't know, um, tights once again, a red top and a cheerleader skirt and also some transfer paper which I used for the EHS. So you say you wanna get away We don't need a plane could be your So for the EHS I went on to pickmonkey.com and used the font Freshman, made it really big um, and then I reverted it or inverted it, whatever, not invert, yeah I printed it off and cut it out and then the next thing you need to do is follow your transfer paper instructions We did everything you could possibly do wrong We didn't use the um, greasing paper stuff the white didn't even show up, so we ended up just sticking the actual transfer, but it just didn't go right. So don't follow us, follow your instructions on your paper. And yeah, that's about it for that costume. So the third costume is the Lord DIY emoji one, so I take no credit for this, um, but I did change how she made it because I'm so bad at how she drew it on, I just can't draw freehand. Um, so I use transfer paper instead, so that's the only difference. And anyway, I got a yellow tutu, a orangey yellow top, um, some tights once again, and converse, which I used. I also used the same things from the mini, and yeah. So to start off, I got two love hearts and a moon from Pick Monkey and printed them off quite big. And you don't need to reverse these because they're shapes. Well, yeah, they're fine. And then I cut them out with scissors once again. Be careful with scissors. And then I actually did it right this time with the transfer paper. Everything went right, but once again, still follow your instructions. I peeled it off and it was the most satisfying thing ever. And it looked pretty amazing. So this next unicorn one is actually really easy so once again get the tights and I took a purple tutu with this kind of like hula thing I don't even know um, and this feathers I'm just really going for random bright stuff and then a pink t-shirt and of course my famous unicorn and then I'm going to show you how to like DIY the horn because it's pretty damn cute and yeah.
So I first of all took a big bit of white card and cut a circle out of it. Um, yeah, make the circle as big as you want your horn to be. I made it quite big and then I cut a slit right into the middle like a little pie thing and basically rolled it up. It's quite self-explanatory but it looks a bit confusing but it, I trust me it's easy. And I sellotaped taped it up and then decorated it with washi tape. And then I lastly got this little wooden stick and stuck that on the back of it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go and like this video. Um, pause it right now. Like it if you haven't already. And you'll be amazing. One little click makes me so happy. So, yeah. If you liked this video. I always, people ask me why I'm always holding hangers. This is what I use to focus my camera. I go like this and I focus it. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And, yeah. Subs people give me heart attacks. Yeah. Bye. I picked my phone up. Don't that feel real funky, y'all?